Here come the Yankees. Who are your Yankees fans? Like always, it is Felix from NYNews.com. Hola, como estas? The New York Yankees are just six games behind the Red Sox now. I got some good news and some bad news. The good news is that the Yankees are six games back behind the Red Sox. If you've been following this channel for quite some time now, I said, hey, expect the Red Sox to have a meltdown soon because the pressure was added to them. They became the team to beat. They became the it team. They became the team with the target behind their backs. Just like the New York Yankees coming into the season. The Yankees were going to destroy everybody. Sure, they got a great record. But the target was behind their back. So now to the bad news. The bad news is that um, the Yankees were facing really a minor league team in the Baltimore Orioles. Okay? Just like Mike Francesa said, hey, the Yankees are winning games, but don't uh, overhype it. They were facing basically a little league team. So that's the bad news. The real test is going to come when the Yankees had to face the Mariners and all these other legit teams that are coming up, like the A's, etc. But the Yankees have really not a little window, quite large window coming up this week against the uh, teams under 500 they should easily sweep the uh chicago white Sox, the tigers etc the real test like i said comes when they have to go over there to oakland and seattle but i can see the yankees gaining more ground on the red Sox, just because of what i said the target is on the red Sox back so let me see the red Sox schedule real quick for you guys let's see who they have to face so it looks like the Red Sox have an easy schedule as well as they face off with the Marlins starting on Tuesday. Then they go to Chicago to face the White Sox. Let's see, September. Uh, facing the Braves, a legit team. And then the Houston Astros. Wow. The month of September is going to be interesting. So Yankees fans, I, I predict the Yankees are going to cut that a deficit to like three games or four games by uh, week's end. And it's going to get real interesting in the month of September. Obviously, the Yankees are going to prove if they are a legit playoff team. It's going to be really a preview of a one-game playoff when they have to face off against the Oakland A's and the Mariners. So that's the real test. So Yankees fans, I know the Yankees have the second best record in Major League Baseball. Like I said, I just think the league is weak. So, yes, they had a great series against a team they're supposed to beat. That's the difference, though. Uh, the Red Sox are what? They have won 14 games against the O's. So that's the difference within the division. We all knew that the division was going to be called upon on how many games the Yankees and the Red Sox won against the Orioles. So imagine if the O's had a legit team this season. The Red Sox record obviously wouldn't be inflated like that. As for Aaron Judge, the Yankees don't know when he's coming back. So, in my opinion, you at least pick pick up a player before the August 31st deadline. But who knows with the Yankees? The Yankees don't want to make moves. They are happy with the team they got. But like I said, you never know if, if Gary Sanchez goes down again and Aaron Judge. So, that's just insurance. Just my opinion. So, Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. Do you see the Yankees going on a strong win streak? Similar to the one they had when they turned their season around earlier in the season. I believe so. They have an easy road ahead of them. Where do you see the Yankees by next Sunday? Three games back? Four games back? Leave your opinions in the comment section below. We all know the Red Sox are just going to choke. J.D. Martinez can't carry that team all season long. I'm surprised he hasn't hit the DL by now. We've seen Chris Sale go down with a shoulder injury, but people are suspecting that it was employed by the Red Sox to give Sale some rest because they know he implodes by the end of the season. So, Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. Like always, it has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and hashtag Olaka Mustas.